So he intervened on me. And at that point, I remember thinking, okay, he's like, basically he said, if you go to rehab, maybe you'll get your job back. I'll support you. If you don't, you're on your own. Go do, and I had like a thousand bucks in my bank account. And I remember thinking, I'll go to Thailand and ride elephants. I swear to God, that's what I thought. And then it hit me. And so many people <laughs> have rehab. this. Yeah. So many people have this moment of clarity. And I just started crying. It's like, you're out of control. Other people's moment of clarity is there statement is a little maybe more profound but it was like you're out of control dude and it hit me on the deepest level i can't control myself and that was real and heavy and profound and so i was like okay and i found a rehab and i just went to the one that said i could come for only 30 days everybody else was like 90 days 90 days i was like fuck that they said just keep an open mind i went to it was ed spatola i went to newfound life in in uh, long beach and uh we got into the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. I didn't think I was an alcoholic. I thought my problem was meth and heroin. And it talked about the allergy that produced the phenomenon of craving. And I was like, that's why when I had a beer, which I don't really even care that much about beer, it set off the craving that made me want Jägermeister that made me go have cocaine. And I don't really even like cocaine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It explained everything.